since you are pet friendly and you've had more than just dogs, what's the most unique pet that you've ever had stay here? A giant tortoise. Welcome to Bridling Business Success, where we talk with amazing equestrian business owners about what they do and how they do it. Uh, today with me, I have Diane and Pam. We're here at Cowgirls Horse Hotel. Can either of you tell me a little bit about what this is? Well, it's basically um, a place just for people to bring their horses to stay overnight, and we have a very nice room for people who are the pullers of the trailer and um, so we have the horse part and the human part okay. and we're dog friendly. Well pet friendly because we've had other than dogs in there. Since you are pet friendly and you've had more than just dogs, what's the most unique pet that you've ever had stay here? A giant tortoise I... that was still a baby but <sighs> it was still about this big room? It was, oh it was going on 100 pounds. Oh, wow. Yeah. And it was beautiful. Yeah, I bet. Yeah. How about the boa constrictor? Oh, well, we had God. that, too. We had snakes, Pretty too. early on, we had yeah. a lady that had a boa constrictor, and it was winter, winter time, so she couldn't leave it in the car. I think she had a few chickens and a few other things that went in the room, <laughs> yeah. too. But. So, if you're traveling with your giant tortoise <laughs> or your ball yeah. python, this is the place to go. What are the horse facilities like? The horse facilities are excellent. Great big stalls, fully bedded with um, shavings, a huge arena. It's about the biggest arena in town. And um, the barn itself is only seven stalls. So we can't take anybody that has more than seven horses for the most part. Unless they're willing to go into a paddock. Because oh. we have paddocks outside where people can also, if they prefer to have their horses outside, and those generally have a shelter except for one. That sounds like some amazing facilities. <laughs> yes, and it's an indoor arena. Oh, yeah. indoor arena? Yeah. yeah. It's about dressage size. I don't know what that is, but... It's about 269 feet long and 90 across. When people come with their horses, are there like some scenic places that they can go ride? Where you just came from. Yeah. You no, go up to Happy Jack. Okay. And uh, which is one exit east of us. And then there's lots of trails back there that uh, are part of Na uh, Medicine Bow National Park, a uh, national forest, sorry. And, um, and then there's Vita Vu, uh, which is the rock park, which is really gorgeous and spectacular. And then to the west of us, which is still part of Medicine Bow National Forest, is Vita, uh, is a uh, snowy range. Yeah. And there's also glacier, glacial lakes up there. So it goes up to over 10,000 feet. Mm -hmm. uh, and we're at about 7,600 here. Wow. So, yeah. The county has, um, and the state are negotiating to get this land that, and that's right next to, uh, that goes close to our property where people could ride from here up into Medicine Bow, they're developing horse trails and biking trails and hiking trails. And there's already a biking trail that goes from uh, Medicine Happy Jack area where you were uh, almost all the way to Cheyenne. Yes. So for the human aspect, um, what are the rooms like? Oh, well, it's a lovely room. Um, the floor is, looks it looks like wood tile, but it's really um, porcelain and it's heated so in the summertime that doesn't matter as much but now it's getting a little bit cool and people like the heated floor. Two queen-size beds decorated in kind of a western theme and then a bathroom that's also decorated in a western theme with tiles that are horse horse heads and um, that kind of thing. And galloping horses. Right. Yeah. Okay that yeah. sounds amazing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so we just have the one B and B room. We are also working on restoring an airstream um, that okay. will be available by next summer. Can you tell me a little bit about how Cowgirls Horse Hotel started? Like, how did it begin? Uh, Diane will tell that story. 
Oh. Well, um, both of us have jobs at the university, and we were looking for a place where uh, we could keep a couple of horses. And at the time, that was in 2003, there were very few properties around here that were close enough and that had, um, well, we actually couldn't find anything in town to add horse property. So this, we came out, I came out to look at the barn property because it was for sale, the arena property. And when I did, the day that I came to look at it, the house went on the market as well. They were two separate pieces of property because the people before us did not want the, the house with the arena. Mm -hmm. So they just had the house portion. So the, two, so the house went on the market and the realtor said to us, if you want that, you better give them full asking price and do it today because it'll be gone. So that was how we got started. And the fact was it was way more property than we ever needed mm -hmm. for two people with just two horses or three horses yeah. then. And so, um, and with two mortgages, a commercial mortgage and a residential mortgage, I said to Pam, we can't do this unless we turn it into a business. That's how it got started. So we opened it up that fall uh, to begin um, uh, monthly borders for the, the, the uh, horse property. And we also started that fall with the B and B business. So, so everything at once. Yeah, we did a lot of renovation to the B and B area because it wasn't it wasn't as nice as it is today. Um, what has been the biggest struggle getting started with Cowgirls Horse Hotel? You mean besides money? <laughs> <laughs> money, money's a struggle. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah, I would say the biggest struggle has been money. Interestingly, I thought we might have some um, difficulty getting used to having people in our house. And, you know, that, that this might come with some discomfort. But people have been lovely. People that own animals, I guess, we can relate to very well. And um, we've gotten people that come back and back now um, and, and almost like friends. Yeah, some of them have become friends. We got a lot of repeat customers, and most of our business has actually been by word of mouth. Oh, wow. Uh, we do have um, a website, obviously, and then we are listed on Airbnb, but the business really got started by word of mouth to the largest extent. Yep. Come here. Okay, there she comes. Okay. All right, so that kind of leads right into my next question, uh, which is how do you get the word out about Cowgirls Horse Hotel? Well, locally, the word happened very quickly. The fir first time we had somebody boarding here, other people came right along <clears throat> and wanted to board their horses here. The um, internet advertisement, we ever advertised for a safe, kind of a safe haven for women traveling with horses. That doesn't mean we excluded men, but it meant they sort of had to ask. And so they would ask, well, do you take husbands too? And of course we did. And, and we take men as well. But it, 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 we wanted to get the word out that this is the place to stay if you're worried about just anything happening to your horse or you. Mm -hmm. If someone wanted to start their own kind of bed and breakfast horse hotel, what tips would you give them? What advice would you have for them? Well, they'd have to be close to the freeway. <laughs> they'd yeah, have to have some really nice stalls because mm -hmm. um, when people are traveling, they once they see the stall and they're happy with the stall, they're always happy with the accommodations for the humans. Um, <coughs> you, you just have to have enough space. You know, it's it's not a it's not every property that looks like this. So we happened That's onto true. the property and then made it into something else. Okay. I would say that you also need somebody, unless you're really good at developing websites yourself, you need to hire somebody to do a website for you. Um, and, I, and actually, and I also would say that unless you're independently well off, it's good for somebody else to be making a living besides 
trying to do business <laughs> right. with, a, right. with the horse business because it takes time for it to build up. For sure. And I, we certainly don't expect to live only on this horse business. Right. So it's kind of um, a side gig, would you say? Or I'd say for us it's a side, side gig. gig. But yeah. um, somebody could, you know, if they were doing all the work themselves, um, they, could they, could, they could make a living doing this, um, mm -hmm. scaled down a little bit. We, okay. we hire, we're both in our 70s, we both have other jobs, so we hire people to do the work. Oh, right. And, um, and that makes it easy on us. We still enjoy the customers, and um, again, we're not living on the income. Right. We so, have a great time with customers. They really are wonderful. Um, yeah, what was I going to say? Oh, about the thing about being off the freeway, that is important unless you're in a... Uh, tourist area or, res oh. you know, an area where people want to go visit specifically, mm -hmm. like if you were in Yellowstone. Or I suspect that you could probably do something in uh, up in the snowies, but you can't get there during the winter time. Oh. Right. So if someone wants to schedule a vacation in Laramie, mm -hmm. Wyoming, and I've seen a getaway with their horse, um, how can they get in contact with you? Well, Airbnb is probably the easiest way, and people do schedule vacations, sometimes four days. We had some people here seven days oh. this summer, and more and more people are visiting Laramie as a, as a mm, place to visit, a not just coming here on their way to somewhere else. And people really like the town. You know, it's an interesting place, and, it and it's small, and nice restaurants. Yeah, and it's right in the heart of the West. Right, over yeah. Here. And we have all of our contact information on the website, so people can call directly or send us. I mean, people contact me through email or phone calls and text messages. All right, so I will drop all of their information down below. If you guys would like to schedule a getaway at Cowgirls Horse Hotel. <laughs> And if you liked this video and you would like to hear from some other amazing equestrian business owners, uh, please like this video and subscribe. And thank you ladies so much for talking with me. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Yes, thank you so much.